Welcome to Finding Sacred Spaces. Hello, I'm George. And I'm Sue. And today we're visiting the Shrine of St. Joseph of the Mountains in Yarnell, Arizona. We are at the Shrine of St. Joseph of the Mountains in Yarnell, Arizona, just off State Highway 89. The drive into the mountains is breathtaking and the twisties on either side of Yarnell are guaranteed to make motorcyclists smile. Built in 1939 by the Catholic Action League of Arizona, the shrine is located on land donated by William and Mary Wasson, who also commissioned the shrine sculptures. The highlight of the shrine is the 14 Stations of the Cross that proceeds up the rocky hills above the shrine. At first, you're greeted by St. Joseph, patron of family life, holding the infant Jesus. A small outdoor chapel setting provides ample room for a quiet prayer. As you walk up the mountain, be aware that the sound of your voice carries, so signs encourage you to be as quiet as possible. Going up the steps, you get a glimpse of Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. You just want to stay and sit for a while and pray with him. But you know there's more, so you eventually press on. Each station has a beautiful meditation plaque just under the icons of the cross. The entire station's path is just over a quarter of a mile, and each station has a sitting platform that encourages you to sit for a short prayer or meditation. After the crucifixion, you get this feeling that it's all done. But as I made my way down the mountain, I was quickly reminded of the remaining 13th and 14th stations. As I entered the tomb and saw Jesus lying there, the reason for his sacrifice became a little more real, real enough to bring tears to my eyes. Finally, you make your way in front of the tomb to see the resurrected Christ. From the angle below, the tomb appears empty with just the burial cloth being visible. <laughs> 